Pat Love from Love Healing Hearts, here with some more encouragement for you. Wow, I don't know what's going on, but boy, I'm telling you, I feel like God is determined to encourage you. Listen, now I feel led to read Joshua chapter 1. Wow, that's heavy duty as soon as I heard it. Okay, listen, um, now sometimes, I'm going to share this before I start reading. A little bit of Pat's two cents, God's word, and then a little bit of Pat's two cents. Sometimes when the situation looks hopeless, when the situation seems to have no solution, no resolution, no, no answers, and it seems like when it's all over, you're going to be hanging on the edge of a cliff, of a cliff with nothing to catch you if you can't hang on any longer. Well, what I want to tell you is, if you are hanging on a cliff, and God tells you to let go, the ground will only be a foot under you. You're not going to fall and hurt yourself. There's something, I don't know what God is doing. But with all the questions and all the, the quandaries that you're in, God already has the answers and the solutions already lined up like little ducks in a row. So you will begin to see things fall into place. You don't have to figure it all out, baby. It's all planned out for you. You deal with the emotions you have to deal with. God's got the rest of it. Listen, I want you to hear this. And you ask God as you get ready to hear this while I'm talking right now. You ask God in your heart to speak to you if this is truly for you, to lift your spirits, fill you with his peace, and restore the joy of your salvation so that you can have the strength to trust him a little further. Okay, listen to this, starting at verse 1. Now, after the death of Moses, did you hear that? Yeah. I don't know if it has to do with death, but it just tripped me out. After the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spake unto Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' minister, saying, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now therefore arise, go over this Jordan, thou and all this people, unto the land which I do give to them, even to the children of Israel. Every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon, that have I given unto you, as I said unto Moses. From the wilderness un and this Lebanon, even unto the great river, the river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites, and unto the great sea, toward the going down of the sun, shall be your coast. There shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. This is the key sentence right here, you guys. As I was with Moses, so will I be with thee. I will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. Be strong and of good courage, for unto this people shall thou divide for an inheritance the land which I swear unto their fathers to give them. Only be thou strong and very courageous that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law which Moses my servant commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left that thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou goest. Whew. Okay. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then... Thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Mm, mm, mm. Ah, I love this. Have not I commanded thee? Be thou strong and of good courage. Be not afraid. 
neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. Boy, I'm telling you, if that doesn't get you, if that doesn't lift your spirits, somebody needs to go up behind you and say, whoops, upside the head. <laughs> but listen, be encouraged. That is a serious word from God. He has got this, whatever it is you're dealing with, whatever it is you're facing, God has got this. Wow. Mm, mm, mm. How do you feel? I hope you feel better. I really do. Because I believe you got your answer from the Lord. Now you can lean back Get your little ice cream cone or some popcorn and relax. Sit in the Lord's lap and relax. Rest in the Lord. Be of good courage. Wait, I say on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage. And he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say on the Lord, and he, he will perform. He'll perform all, all that concerns you. He's got it. I think I'm talking too much because I think the word said it all. And Pat's going to take her two cents and go her way and leave the word with you. God bless you, my child. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs>